Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I've got a party created for the Warrens. It's the marking party I used before. I figured out, by the way, why giving her the blood didn't do anything. That's because when you give someone the blood and they're in their passive state, it doesn't do anything. You have to give them blood in craving in order for them to have bloodlust. You can't just trigger bloodlust at will. I didn't realize that, so I should have probably just held on to the blood and had three more blood on the last mission instead of just getting rid of it constantly, but, you know, live and learn, live and learn. So we're gonna go out on this mission, fight the boss, the Swine Prince. I think, I think we'll be able to make it work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna over-prepare, I like over-preparing for boss fights. 16 torches, 24 food, shovels, everything for curio interactions. Let's go. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. Nice, bringing back the dead. Well, not really bringing back the dead, I guess, so much as allowing demon spirits to in inhabit dead corpses. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. A testament to my failures. Get rid of it for me, please, would you? Yes, well, give him the outcome. Making sure I gave him this, the quick draw charm. That's going to be very important for us. Yeah, what a jerk. What a jerk. This guy here. This guy. So we know where the boss fight's going to be. It's, it's obvious. It's in the bottom left corner. Bottom right corner. It's even the bottom left corner. That's yeah, obvious. Obviously not in the bottom left corner. It's a weird scratching I'm hearing. The blood. Now you're in bloodlust. So now if I gave them another blood, they would have a temporary bonus to stats. But right now just being in bloodlust is enough for them. Dude, I am oh, I am A-OK -okay with uh, not fighting anything, but we should fight the boss soon. The boss should be really easy to kill, though, so I kind of want to fight the boss first before I do anything else. Like, fight the boss, then camp afterwards when I need to do healing and stress recovery, because, you know, I've got bloodlust. Now's the time. Oh, dude, a scroll. Okay, so with the scroll, we're going to get rid of an ability here. We're going to get rid of, hopefully, compulsive. No, you literal idiot. Because oh. what happens if you use a uh, a torch on the scroll on the ground, you remove a negative quirk. But unfortunately, the occultist decided that he wanted to just look at the scrolls. That's why I wanted to get rid of Compulsive, because of situations like that. So, so stress, I think, is the most important thing here to get rid of. Eradicated! Eradicated. It's a nice damage bonus there. Can you hit the third position? You cannot. But you can allow the Highwayman to crit hit? Ah, you know what? Abyssal Artillery. It's more guaranteed damage, and now hopefully one attack will get the kill. It wasn't necessary, but it's kind of what I wanted. And now you can punch. Not quite, not quite one punch man material there, Bounty Hunter, but you're getting there. You're getting there. All right. Ooh, damn, the damage is so good. Love it. We can probably kill him if we move next. Yes, we can. Did he have a lot of protection, or did we just roll low on the damage? Can't tell. Dude, the secret room, too. This is going to be a good mission, I think. Yeah, we just want to attack this. Of course. Okay. The thirst. Of course they move first. Resisted the curse, though. Yes, behold the power of the blood. Oh, okay. That's it? You're not actually gonna do something, you just wanted to be like, ha-ha, blood! Obliterated. I mean, nice shot, I will admit. I think I'm just gonna apply a mark, let the bounty hunter pick up a kill. 
you can repost forward on the mosquito. They're the most annoying enemies because of the fact that they do. Oh wait, you do a, oh I see, you get stun when you're in your second form, not when you're in the first form. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's why I was confused before. I'm like, mosquitoes don't get stunned unless they're in veteran. No, it's just when they suck up blood, then they are slightly worse at their at their lives. Or they're making my life slightly worse anyways. 18 damage. I gotta fight the boss with this buff on. This is too good. Okay, well, might as well point blank shot you back into position. It's not very good. Uh, so we're gonna get rid of... You know what? I've got like three invitations. I don't need any more. Oh, dude, damage bonus. Yeah. Stack it up on the bounty hunter? Or stack it up on... Yeah, stack it up on the bounty hunter. Dude, this is gonna be like the shortest swine fight ever. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Let's do it. It is a travesty. It a is a travesty. Of hatred and rage. Okay, so he is marked, so he is going to be attacked by the Swine Prince. We're gonna apply our own mark on the Swine Prince. Attack this one, please. <laughs> now the mark is really good here because he has one action per turn. That means the mark is gonna stay for a full three rounds. That's really good. Uh, with the damage bonuses we've got, we've gotta do the actual attack, because the Blight would do 12 damage. This does 11 to 23. I mean, it did 13, but, you know. And here we're just gonna open Vein, I think. Seven to 13, six to 12 bleed. Six to 12 bleed, I think, is better. We're not gonna get the marking bonus, but you know, he's gonna be able to bleed him. Collect bounty. This guy is already a third dead. Obliterate body. So this is where the suckiness comes into play, but this is where the healing from the occultist hopefully can counteract the damage that we're taking. Because that mark is gonna be applied until we kill this boss. It's not going anywhere. 25. That's an okay heal. It should protect him from one more obliterate body attack. Actually, that's not that much damage. Not as much as I thought. And these two. It's fine. I think we can kill Will or uh, the Swine Prince before he does anything. He's got a negative one speed. Yeah, he's dead. So now we gotta kill Wilbur here. Post forward, and honestly, I'd rather get the healing in. Oh, that's that's so bad. We're gonna cultists, man. Can't do anything. You're dead. Reeling, about to break. <laughs> Waiting for the game to catch up to the to the freaking UI responding to what happened there. But that was a good mission. Already done. We can leave whenever we want, but there's a lot of curios, interactions, and a secret door that we want to abuse if we can. And I, honestly, I don't really care about the trinkets, so I think I'm just gonna drop them. Continue, continue adventuring. And we don't even need a camp. We can hold off on that for quite a while. Hmm. Gotta keep the key. Gotta keep at least one key. No! Ah. One day I will remove that stupid ability from you, you garbage man. 90% chance of a disarm. Can I micro? Nah. So you just do it instead. I was gonna ask, can I micro the trinkets to give him 100% chance because he has the most stress, but whatever. So we'll go left, up, right, right, down, left. We should be done. Oh, uh, move into position, please. I could open with a point blank shot. I could open with a point blank shot. Let's try opening with a point blank shot. Passive, at the exact moment we got into combat. I mean, that's fine. 
can wound those guys. Kill a mosquito. We actually moved before the mosquito. Are you kidding me? Point blank shot him. Bounty Hunter can maybe get the kill on the third line. Supplicant. I hit the corpse instead. <laughs> but he crit it. He crit the corpse. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was a mistake. That's alright. No one got cursed. Cultist should do some healing as soon as he has a turn. Yeah. Eh. I got bandages. Yo, gather the blood on whoever has the curse is like perfect. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. You're not gonna get the stun. Guy's basically unstunnable. I was thinking if the Blight landed, then I could just safely wait and try to get a heal out from the Occultist, but whatever. Accuracy stone, plus four accuracy. That sounds terrible. I'm gonna drop a torch and take the deeds. A blazing star is born. I think the deeds are more important now. I need to upgrade the weaponsmithing so that I can get level four weapons, and then upgrade the stagecoach so I can get better people. Ah, uh, just in case. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. No, we would have been fine. We would have had 76 light, I think. Mark. You're gonna get point blank shotted, you're gonna get daggered, you're gonna get bounty hundred. There's one. Destroy them Two. All. Three. Nice. Dude, marking parties. I'm telling you. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Might as well take the emerald because it's worth Exactly the same as two jades, but it, jades, but it can stack higher. So you know, might as well. Also, let's just do this, so I can open with that point blank shot. It's actually killing the frontline enemy pretty much reliably. It can't hit the third and fourth line, which I kind of do like the ability of doing, but this is fine. Because the thing is, grave robber hits the back, bounty hunter gets the third line. He kills the first line, then there's, then there's only the second line alive. Like, that seems pretty good to me. Be gone, fiend. Not really getting much of an opportunity to get healing out, but, you know. Seize this momentum. Okay, I have two keys. To the tasks end. So I can use one here. Laden with loot. Shovel, don't Our care. Supplies. Might want to consider camping soon, just so that I can have another inventory space. So I can collect more loot now. But I've still got anti-venom, medicinal herbs, bandages, holy water. Like, I just haven't had an opportunity to get rid of those things. Aw, oh, you went first. That's annoying. At least you resisted the disease. And you went first, too! Or second. I want to go. A devastating blow. Of course, Flock McGlotten. Who could have forgotten Flock McGlotten? Another one falls. Another one bites the dust. Hey! Oh man, can we have a voice pack that's all just Queen songs? And another one down, and another one down. 100% light resist. Executed with impunity. When you when you get a a combat that has like the really big two enemies, like a uh, the uh, the the brigand guy who has the whip, the ghoul, the bone uh, bone bone commander, I think is what he's called, the big guy. Just have it like. Fat bottom girls that'll be coming your way. Dude, it's a million dollar idea right there. I'm gonna camp. A Heal up. A a chance to steal take this, take this, and... Protect 
protect ourselves from nighttime ambush. Better surprise chance on enemies. We don't need scouting. What we can do is relieve stress. Relieve stress. Uh, we don't need scouting. So, you're just going to make yourself better. The light, cool. the promise of safety. Still have a full 12 stack of food. Can't hold 100 gold. Ugh, get rid of... Look at all those traps. Two more combats. Get rid of... Some more herbs, I suppose. We don't need food. Don't touch it. I know you wanted to, cultist. Okay, Bloodsucker's gotta go because he's got the stress. And right now our stress is zero. Would like to keep it that way, please. Thank you. Do a boost. Ah. Bounty Hunter has a hard time getting a kill on these guys because they've got that 20% protection. Dude, gathering the blood on the Grave Robber. They've done it like four times in a row. It is amazing. These guys are being nice to me. More blood? Be wary. Yeah, sure, more blood. Triumphant pride precipitates a, a dizzy fall. Uh, get rid of the anti-venom. There's basically no more curios remaining. The way is lit. The way the is lit. Is clear. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Really? You gotta actually succeed. At the same time. Ah, uh, you know what? This is fine. Sinking, uh, move the highwayman forward to the front, open with a point blank shot, but I like the ability to repost into the back line for stress relief, especially now that we are at the end of the mission or nearing the end, anyways. Can you repost fourth line? You can. As a result, I'm going to dagger third. I think the dagger just straight up does more damage than that repost attack, so I wanted to make sure I could get that in. And the Swine Slasher. Very low HP, but he's a really annoying unit, so I figured the Bounty Hunter could get in the kill, and indeed he did. Which means we are basically done with the mission now. Can't use the key here, unfortunately, but that's alright. Get rid of the Remind yourself that overconfidence is Holy Water. A and insidious killer. Open with a shovel. Wait, wait, really? All right, well, I'll just open it. I mean, it's worth it. Cause we're done. Zero stress on anyone. Kill the boss. Oh well, too stressed now. You couldn't get stressed out before the freaking trap encounter, you idiot. Here's the key. Or trapezohedroids. We'll get rid of the. Torch and shovel, and done. Nice, nice mission. Got another book of sanity. Didn't even look at what we were getting from the uh, the mission rewards, but a book of sanity is quite nice. Twenty percent stress reduction is kind of big, kind of big. I like using the book of sanity to kind of counteract a item that gives plus twenty stress. So like, I think on the Highwayman? I think I had plus 25% stress head, or plus 25% damage plus 20% stress head, the Dismosses head, and then I gave him the Book of Sanity, I think. Can't remember. Nervous. Plus 10 stress. Minus 10 damage if torch below 26. Nervous is something that's worth getting rid of, I think. What I should do. Let the organ notes ring out from the Abbey. The sisters are gathering. <gasps> Vessels, healers! I've got free healers! I don't feel so bad about getting rid of the last one, though. Work removed, dark temptation. Okay, unequip trinkets. Sort trinkets. Stagecoach, what do we got? I guess they don't appear in the stagecoach, they appear here, but I can just, you know, grab them and bring them in if I had room for them. The question is, do I want two level zero vessels? And I think I do. We'll see. Oh, dude, stun amul amulet. So we're totally gonna go to the Warrens, 
uh, because we need to in order to unlock the last apprentice level boss, but also I've got seven invitations, are you kidding me? And I don't need to bring any more. Uh, but yeah, this stun amulet is pretty good, and I don't think I have one. Yeah, I don't. I've got a padlock that gives me plus 20%. I've got the Houndmaster that gives me plus 25%, and I've got the Stun Stone, but the Stun Amulet is straight up better. Stunning, anyways. So really quickly, we'll check out the other missions, see what we've got. We got it. I've got it. Don't want it. Don't care. Don't care. I mean, the plus 20 dodge and the plus accuracy is quite good for the Grave Robber, but I'd prefer to just to give them damage, I think. Sun Ring would be nice, but no, we. I think we want to get that Stun Stone. It's going to be a, a short level mission, which is not the best, but it is what it is. And we're almost, almost to the point now where I can take more people back into the courtyard. I'd love to get one of these vessels up to level three at the very least, hope ideally four. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take her along? Because a short level veteran mission, how, how much XP does that give? That gives four XP. That's enough to bump her up to level three. Ah, but we'll still have one vessel for the boss and we can still use the occultist. Ah, we're not gonna use the occultist for the boss. We are gonna use the vessel, I think, for the next boss of the Warrens. So I don't know, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do, just because I don't know who I'm gonna take. But I might wanna take the vessel just to get her leveled up, so I can have a uh, another vessel that's high leveled. Because I only have two healers who are level four, or three, and they're both occultists, which is not the best. So we'll, I'll figure something out. So thank you very much for watching though. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and hope to see you here for the next mission in the darkest dungeon.